Hey Dano friends, today I have no camera because I cannot be bothered because I just want to quickly talk about something that is really important to me. I don't know, you guys might think it's nothing. It's really important to me. So if you guys have not been on this channel for very long, before I played Build a Boat, my favorite game in Roblox was this game. It is called Dragon Adventures. It's kind of like Slitherio or Slitherio, however you want to call it, except you have these dragons with skins and stuff and you can battle with them um, anyway I think most of you probably know this game but it was my very favorite game I played this game so much until I got pretty much everything that exists in this game including the f extremely extremely rare Halloween egg from 2017 I played so much during the 2017 Halloween update look at how much stuff I have so much stuff but then, if you don't know, after Halloween 2017, they removed the event and then nothing happened. The makers of the game just sort of disappeared. They, they just didn't update the game, they didn't tweet anything, they didn't say anything, they just disappeared. And my favorite game in Roblox was just kind of gone. Like, it, I mean, it's still here, of course. But people have abandoned it. The game, the makers have abandoned it. The game is now full of glitches. For instance, this floating thing here, that's a glitch. Um, the bag is really low on the screen. Look at this, the bag is so low on the screen. The quest list, uh, I cannot even read the lowest quest. I don't know if that's a new glitch. There's a lot of glitches now because the game did not get updated. But today I want to talk about the fact that recently I was looking at the game and you guys look at this look at this the game has been updated oh if I zoom I cannot see it anymore where is it here it has been updated on the 9th of March so only like a week or how, what two weeks ago or less the game was updated now I don't know how it was updated I don't know how it was updated I think maybe they just fixed a typo or something I don't know but they did something because otherwise Roblox wouldn't say the game was updated I cannot see anything that was updated but it doesn't matter because this means that someone of the makers of the game is still alive, is still out there, is still doing something for the game. So, I'm going to do some detective research because this was my favorite Roblox game before Build a Boat for Treasure. And I love this game so much, I played so much in this game. Uh, I'm going to do some detective work. So, if you go to the game, it got updated. I checked this game. I, there are several games where I check when they get updated oh man i like my heart almost stopped when i saw this game had been updated it had not been updated since after the the halloween event of 2017 was deleted so that's over two years ago this game has not been updated and all of a sudden it said updated in 2020 i was like oh my god oh, i almost got a heart attack but the nothing changed so far anyway of course, this game has been made by a group or a person. In this case, it's a group and the group is called Mutated, as you can see here. Um, now, one interesting thing is that it's led by someone called Mutated. And if you see this person, it's actually wearing some quite new items. Like if you look at this item, this is one of the UGC items. That item is quite new. So that means that this person is still playing Roblox. So does that mean? that Dragon Riders is coming back. I don't know, everything else is still dead. The only hint is that the game has an update. Look, if you look at the picture, it's still Haunted Halloween. Halloween from 2017. Oh my gosh, that is two, that is three Halloweens ago. Are you serious? The, the latest update in a group is new skeleton key, keys for Halloween all the way until 22nd of November, which was more than two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is all old stuff, all old stuff, um, old stuff, okay, nothing new, they turn off the comments, then they also have a Twitter somewhere, here it is, they link the Twitter, if you go to the Twitter, then they have not tweeted anything since Halloween 2017. Come on, give me something. I miss this game so much. I used to play this game non-stop all the time until I had 
everything that exists. Okay, so, so their last tweet. There was actually a tweet, a drawing, fan art for, from someone who drew a picture of a possible uh, Christmas dragon that they could make. Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer Dragon that they could make for Christmas 2017. But they didn't because they disappeared from the face of the earth. The makers of this game disappeared. What happened to them? Can we make this into a documentary? Then they retweeted stuff, including if you go below, uh, far enough, you, they even retweeted my uh, video. So they were actually pretty cool developers. They retweeted my videos and stuff. So thank you for that. 10th of November 2017, when I got all my dragons at the maximum level. This is before we even had 1,000 subscribers this is before we even had 1000 subscribers on the channel i used to play this game so much oh man a haunted halloween that was a fun update i wish they just kept making the game um my theory is still that the reason why they stopped making the game is because it's hard to make um they have a bad money making model for this game i guess that's what you would call it like the only way that they make money of this game is by selling these coins but as you can see in the top right i have millions millions it is actually not that hard to get millions of coins um so that's why no one, of course, is going to actually buy the stuff that they sell for Robux. So I think if they change the way they make money off this game by, um, I don't know, selling something for Robux that's more worth getting, then they would get more money from the game and maybe they would make it more. Oh man, I really wish this game would come back. Anyway, this has been a rambly video. Uh, let's do a dragon battle. Let's, can we be one of those YouTubers that stretches their vid video to 10 minutes? Stretch this video. We're going for a dragon battle. <laughs> Stretch this video. 10 minutes. I need money. One, two, three, four. Tommy needs more money. Give me that. Give me that star. Yeah. Ghostly time. Ghostly time. You cannot do anything. Can I kill this guy? Can I kill this guy? I want to kill him, but... It's going a bit fast for me. Yeah, okay, never mind. Stupid bot. I'll get you. Okay, so. Here's a challenge for the people who are watching right now. How long is this video? For me, it's seven, almost eight minutes. For those of you watching right now, I bet for you guys the video is longer than eight minutes. Is it really long or is it really short? I'm just going to keep recording. I'm just going to keep recording until I oof. How about that? I'm just going to keep recording until I'm either at 10 minutes long video or I oof. So, yeah, tell me. Tell me how long the video is. That means if the video is really long, that means I did really well. If the video is really long, it, it took very long for me to oof. Okay. Can we get to number one in this video? I think we can. I think we can. I don't know. I saw an armor dragon. There's one armor dragon who's very big. I'm kind of scared. Armor dragons are pretty s strong. But um, while I'm in ghostly mode, the armor dragon can't hurt me. So I just have to keep picking up these energy things. So those people who've never played this game, some of you might have never heard of this game, which would be really sad. It's so sad that it's dead. Ah. Uh. But yeah, you have a bunch of dragons, they have different powers, there's a fire dragon that shoots fire in front of it, there's the armor dragon that uh, once its armor power is active it can bump into anything and not die. This is my, this is the Halloween dragon, this is the rare, by far the rarest dragon because it was only available during Halloween 2017. Um, which goes invisible and it, when invisible it can go through anything which is different from the ninja dragon which when it's invisible and it runs into someone it still oofs uh, there's the fairy and dream dragons I don't know which one is which but they when they use their um, special they get a clone so they get uh, one of them gets only one clone and the other one gets two clones let's see let's see you're the number let's see Okay, is this a player? No, okay. If this is not a player... Okay, I'm going to try to kill this... ...thing. Okay, come on. And... ...go! <laughs> it's okay, we don't have to feel bad. It wasn't a player. It was just... It was just a... Uh, ...dragon. It was just... ...a bot. Well, it's not really a bot. It's... I don't know what to call it. I always call it bot. 
But yeah, a non-player dragon is what it was. Okay. Let's see, then we have the lava dragon, which uh, spits lava in front of it. So the fire dragon spits fireballs very far in front of it, one by one. Whereas the lava dragon uh, spits just a beam of lava not that far in front of its head. Uh, let's see, then we have the green, the emerald dragon, I don't know what it's called, the green dragon, which, when using it special, eats more stuff around it. Oh, I tried to go in front of it and kill it, but I was in ghost form, so I did not kill it. Okay, no, I want to kill you! Ah, uh, when the bots go fast, they are so unpredictable. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah. But I want to eat you. I want to eat you. Okay, and the golden dragon, that is the one that you really want. If I had any advice, if I could choose only one dragon, get the gold dragon. That's how you get millions. All the other dragon, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see the money. Any of the money you make doesn't even matter in comparison to the gold dragon. Because when you play as the gold dragon... Oh, ooh, what's that? Look at that. There's another invisible ghost dragon around here. I just saw another invisible ghost dragon. Or a ninja. Actually, it's more likely that it was a ninja dragon. Because ghost dragon is pretty rare. Or, well... I don't actually know what it's called. The one that I'm playing at. Let's call it a ghost dragon for now. Hmm. That means he goes invisible and he can appear out of nowhere. That kind of scares me. This kind of scares me. This is not what I want. Also, oh, look at how big this guy is. This orange guy. Okay. Ooh. Delicious. Oh, hello there. Uh, also, of course, in the lobby, the game is 3D, where you have quests. I don't know, are there any people watching who have done any of the quests? Because the quest, if you want to complete all the quests, it's take, it takes forever. I'm like maybe like halfway, maybe more than halfway, but all if you want to do all of the quests, that takes so insanely long. So that means that you get skins from it that are the rarest skins. They are even rarer than the uh, limited time skins, which is crazy because you would think that the limited time skins are the rarest because you cannot get them anymore. But they one, once you could get them, they were pretty easy to get. They were just luck based from chests. Whereas the one, the quest ones take so insanely long to get that the, not. I would guess that maybe for some of the quest items, less than a hundred maybe exist. I, I don't know, maybe more than a hundred, but. It's hard to imagine more than a hundred people doing all of those things because that means they played more than me and I know I've played an insane amount. I've played this game so much. So ridiculously much. I don't know. Are we going to make it to number one? Oh, I'm actually number two. Okay, I'm actually number two already. Pleasantly surprised and boom, back into the shadows right away. Ooh, okay, what are you? This blue guy, I saw him turn invisible as well, this blue guy. Hmm, what are you, a ninja? Or a ghost dragon, I cannot really tell. Okay, I accidentally killed him. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I guess... Yeah, I don't know. After all this time, sometimes I still feel bad when I kill people. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh gosh. Oh, that's the number one. I don't know, I'm not going to kill him until he tries to kill me. I'm going to play one of those cards. Ooh. Okay, so if I go in a circle around this chest, this is so much fun when I do this. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, now the big dragon is gone. Sometimes they will like try to encircle me and try to trap me within them. When I go like this. But I'm a ghost dragon, so once I pick up one of these energy blocks, <laughs> I can go through them and they'll be like, what? Where did he go? Oh! Oh, either he just died or he disappeared. No, there's no track. There's no orbs here that he left behind. So he just left the game, I guess? Okay, well, I'm number one! <laughs> Yay! I kind of wanted to win, be like victorious and defeat the number one, but I guess this works. I guess this works. Okay. Get me... 
invisible. I actually, this is the last dragon quest that I have left. So for every dragon, there's a quest, use its special ability uh, first, like probably like once or twice or then 10 times. Like these quests, every time you complete the quest, a longer quest comes after it. This dragon is the only one where I didn't complete the quest. Yesterday I completed the ninja one. And now all I need to do is go turn into ghost on this one a few hundred more times. Then I've completed all the quests where you have to use the dragon specials. But then there are some, the hardest ones... No, the hardest one is definitely the one where you have to find the chests. And I used to just turn my brain off, listen to some, some podcasts or stand-up comedy or whatever, and just fly around in the lobby for so many hours just picking up those chests i don't even need them because i'm a millionaire as you can see i don't even need the chest i i just need to open them for the quest uh, and i still need over 400 more of those rare red golden chests i need to find more of those in the lobby 400 more which takes forever but then I'll have items, then I'll get rewards that probably almost no one has in this entire game. It would be hard to imagine anyone else as crazy as me, who spent so many tens, possibly hundreds of hours just floating around. Looking for those chests that you don't even need. Okay. Okay, let's see. There's not much left to do, I'm the biggest one. I always try to get become the number one, but once I'm the number one, I'm bored because there's no one really left to fight. I don't know, maybe someone will try to kill me and I can fight them. Fight me with your dragons. Fight me! Oh! Why, why did I do- I totally wasn't even thinking. That's how much this game is in my mind. I just murdered that person without even thinking. Oh, did you try to kill me, blue dragon? Did you try to kill me? I think that ghost, other ghost one tried to kill me just now. Hmm. Hmm. And back into the shadows right away. I was only out of the shadows. So yeah, as soon as I complete the quest for this dragon to um, use the special 1500 times, is how many times I have to use the special of this dragon. Um, once I complete that quest, I'm instantly switching back to my gold dragon because you can make so many millions. If I would be this size that I am right now on this ghost dragon, which is going to get me like 20,000. If I was that on my gold dragon, it would get me roughly, well, at least half a million. At least half a million. So yeah, it's definitely, if you're looking for money, it's definitely worth playing on the gold dragon. Uh, get it to max level, max it out. And then just try to get as big. And also make sure to revive it as many times as you can. It's just worth it. Because it costs like 5,000 for the first revive. While you can make many millions. <laughs> when you're uh, done. And it's exponential. It's exponential actually. Okay. Let's see. Invisible time. So I'm actually, as you can probably see, I'm like kind of hogging these energy crystals because yeah i'm just saving them oh no don't eat my energy crystals please oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i didn't mean to kill you little purple dragon okay because yeah i'm just so used to doing these quests where i have to use these energy that i'm just hogging the crystals oh no you're gonna die oh i'm so i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i just i was just trying to hug these crystals i'm sure they don't like me i'm sure they're angry at me oh fire incoming no no fire please i want to survive i want to survive oh murdered someone by accident story of my life oh gosh i didn't even see that one that one was so tiny i'm so sorry oh uh, no I've killed so many- Oh, did you just try to kill me, blue dragon? Did you just try to kill me? Boom. I do not like that. I do not like what you just tried to, di to do. You tried to murder me, blue dragon. Yoink. Okay. I will not stand for that. I will not have you murder me. 
in my own terrain. Honestly, I'm surprised that my leg, that I'm not that laggy. Last time when I made a video about this game, I was checking if it was still worth playing. And there were so many glitches and bugs that I actually called that video RIP Dragon Riders. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. I called it RIP Dragon Riders. <laughs> because there, there were so many glitches and I couldn't even play this game. I couldn't even play the battle. I could only be in the lobby. Which there's still a lot of stuff to do in the lobby, but still, like, that's only half the game. Oh, man. That is, what I think, why this game is one of my favorite Roblox games. It's because it's technically two games. You have the lobby, and you have the, uh, this battle. So it's like Slitherio plus the lobby, plus a 3D lobby. Which is really cool, I think. Let's see how we doing over here. Delicious. Mine. Mine. All mine. I'm so obsessed with money in this game that it doesn't even matter to me what size I get. It doesn't even matter to me <laughs> what size I get because it's because I just count it as waste of time <laughs> because if I would get this size on my golden dragon I would get millions and now I'm get wow whoa! whoa that guy just spawned right in my face that bot just spawned right in my face okay that is something from day one that I've said they should change but of course the game makers aren't here so they're not going to change anything <gasps> But, if we're ever going to update this game, please make it so that dragons cannot spawn right in your face. It's an unfair way to die. <laughs> okay, I got really close to dying there because uh bot just spawned in my face. I was very lucky not to die. What was I talking about? Uh, something about my golden dragon. I hadn't finished my thought yet. Oh yeah, like now, even if I would die right now for this dragon, this dragon has a special thing where if you die on it, the first time you uh, you try to buy a revive, it's free. I still wouldn't do it. <laughs> I still wouldn't do it because I don't care. On this dragon, I don't care. I only care about my golden dragon. I want more money. I only have 72 million. That's not enough. Oh, oh those are both bots. Oh, those are both bots. Okay. I thought there were two people who were fighting. They are both bots. Alright. What if I just go straight through this guy? <laughs> this is going to be so weird. Ah, no, he's gone. Okay. He is gone. He has disappeared. He has left me. Why, oh why? You have abandoned me. Okay. Uh... So, I did not survive. I did not expect to survive this long. How long have I been playing? 15 minutes? Are you serious? I thought I was just going to stretch the video to 10 minutes. How long is it now? Over 23 minutes. Oh, okay. Alright. I was going to actually planning to make a 2 minute video. Where I just told you guys, oh my god, the game had an update. Even though I don't know what the update is. The game had an invisible update. But it still means so much to me. Because that means that there's a slightest chance, a small a bit of hope that maybe the game makers are get coming back and this game is going to actually be revived. And I would play it, I would make a thousand videos about it. Oh man, I would get so addicted. And I'm pretty sure this game nowadays could definitely make it to one of the top games. One of the most popular dragon games in Roblox. I guess it kind of still is, which is... Uh, amazing considering it hasn't been updated for over two years. Halloween 2017. Halloween 2017. What's the last time it was updated? Are you serious? Still, on average, about 80 to 100 people. Whenever I check this game, about 80 to 100 people play this game still to this day. Every, every second. That is crazy. I don't know. I guess sometimes you just have to be lucky. I saw one game that was called Jurassic... Did I say this yet? I saw one game... Yeah, I'm just, by the way, just filling time with talking. I don't I don't have much to talk about. I was going to make a two-minute video, and it's already almost 25 minutes. Okay. Um, I found a game that was called Jurassic Park something. 
and it was made in 2011. And it's just one of those games where someone, a kid, just put like a bunch of free models in a game. And it had over 14 million total people played this game. Total over like, well, since 2011. So that's like almost, well, not 10 years, like nine years. Over 14 million people played this game that only had some free dinosaur models copy pasted into it. Oh my god, maybe I should make a game and just call it Jurassic Park and just... It doesn't... Apparently it doesn't matter how bad it is. People are gonna play it anyway. Oh man, I, I was... I, I definitely want to make a uh, Dinosaur Park game. Were you trying to encircle me? I think the purple one was trying to encircle me. And then I went invisible. They were like, what? what? Where'd you go? Mine. Mine. Now I'm back. And they're like, what? Where'd you go from? Yeah, my dream is to actually make a really cool and really big dinosaur park game in Roblox one day. But I was planning to not call it Jurassic Park, just because of copyright reasons. I was just going to call it something like Roblox Dino Park or something. But if just calling it Jurassic Park gets you 14 million people to play, that game is actually being played by more than 100 people on average every, every at, at, at any given moment. And it's a, just a tiny game with free models in it. That's all it is. It's just a game with some free dinosaur models in it. Oh, man. Okay. I'm having to apologize, you guys. I have to apologize that I'm too good at this game. I was planning to make this video just stretch it to 10 minutes. I was like, oh, I'll probably die in 5 minutes. Then I forgot, oh wait, I'm too good at this game. I usually don't die. When I'm paying full attention to this game, I usually survive. Sometimes for an Definitely for hours sometimes, but I don't know what my average would be. There we go. There we go. I don't know if I even did that on purpose. It felt like I didn't do it on purpose. That guy was really laggy though. He kind of like lagged in front of me. <sighs> Why is there even a countdown? There's a countdown that has always been there and once it reaches one, it doesn't even go to zero and nothing happens. So why is it even there? I guess they just really want you to quickly get back into the game. So yeah, as you can see, don't die. Zero coins for this dragon. On most dragons, it starts at 5,000, then 15,000, 45,000. Then there's probably one in between. And then the next one is 180,000, 360,000, 720,000. Uh, then the next one is like about 1.4 million. I've, I don't. I'm not sure if I ever bought that uh, revive because at that point you've lost so much money. Is it even worth it? You really gotta want to be number one if you revive to the point where you're spending 1.4 million plus the 700,000 plus all the other amounts. Anyway, this video ended up being almost half an hour, um, despite my plan. Oh, 26,000 is what I got. I could have gotten millions from that if I played on my gold dragon. <sighs> my wallet. Ah, my wallet's pretty big. My, I'm no longer in the high scores anymore. That bothers me as well. Let's see. Who's the lowest on the high scores? Let's see. 200. So definitely more than 200,000. My best is 168,000. Yeah, okay. So the lowest one, number 30, is 100. Just below 180,000. Okay, so that's not that much. I think I could do that. If I just woke up one day, re uh, had a good breakfast, got some food ready at my computer and just spent the entire day just playing this game, I think I could get maybe like 300,000. What's the top one now? What's the top one now? Let's see. Ooh, 367. That number two one was number one for many years. So congratulations to that person who's now number one. You have finally beaten... What was it? Falcarni or something? You finally gotten yourself number one. That's actually a big congratulation. That's pro. Because that person was number one for so long. Okay, this video is now actually almost 30 minutes. I don't... I don't want it to be 30 minutes quick. Oh, what you want to trade? What you want those? Those are worth nothing. You can have those for free. You, I don't care. You can have those for free, man. What are you doing? Yeah, just f take it. Take it. Those those are not worth anything for, to me. <laughs> oh, man. Also, I calculated if you had 80 million, which I almost have, getting to 80 million would cost me only a few hours. If you have 80 million, that means you can open 10,000 of these. Um, 
I calculated it takes about 8 seconds to open a chest before you can open the next one. So if you would non-stop click as fast as possible, possibly auto-click or even just sit awake clicking, it would take you about 22 hours. 22 hours of non-stop opening chests. So I don't I'm not sure, I don't think I'm ever going to spend this money. Oh, ooh, keys. That's a nice one to get. That's a nice one to get. Are you guys lucky? Am I more lucky when I'm recording? Let's see. Oh, I got poopy. I got poopy doopy. I got doo 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 caca. Why did I get that? Oh, you want a key? Mm, no. Well, that egg is pretty good though. Wait, no, that's a bad. That's I, th I was thinking about this egg. No, never mind. Sorry. Okay, so I filled you guys. I uh, I was going to make a short video. It ended up being over 30 minutes. How? How did this video get th over 30 minutes? I didn't even put a face cam because I was going to just very quickly quickly tell you guys. Anyway, you guys know what this game does to me. It is it, it was my favorite game before Build a Boat. And uh, I miss it so much. I miss this game so much. I kind of want to try to get on the high scores again. I don't know, you guys. I think I have enough money to revive myself a lot. We should get like try to get like a hundred million or something. I don't know how much money it would get uh, cost to revive myself like a hundred times, but then you can definitely get super big if you just have enough money to buy endless revives. Um, you can of course make it to the top of the highest scores. Like I know I have enough money to revive at least ten times, and if I just uh, try to get like I don't know, not die, and maybe go to a private server and stuff, it would just take so long. That's the thing. It would just be. I love this game, but it would be like as if you're playing Slitherio for like ten hours straight or something. Like I think I would go crazy, despite the fact that I've spent hundreds and many more hundreds of hours of my life. Oh, you want that? That's free as well. That's free. It's on the house. That's on the house. No portrait killer. You can get that for free. Not this one. This is a Halloween item. I'm sorry. I don't give uh, limited items pretty much at all. Unless if you give me another limited item. Like something rare or a quest item. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I cannot do that. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. I miss this game. I miss my inventory. So the rarest item that I have is possibly... This one's pretty rare. Poopy emoji cap quest items are really rare uh, at this point in time i have almost every item that exists in the entire game except um the halloween key which for because of a mistake of the makers is still in the game the halloween key which with which you can open the halloween chest the halloween chest doesn't exist anymore but the key you can still get the key from these boxes as you can see it's right here but if you get it, as soon as you log out, it's gone and you log back into the game. So I've had this one many times just for safekeeping, just for fun. I had them just just for completionism of my bag, I guess I had them. But then when I log back in, they are always gone. So the Halloween keys are always gone. Um, then the other items that I don't have are just items from quests. So let's see the fish items, the whelp items, the sheep items. Well, these two, if I get these, I'm going to wear them all the time. And somehow, magically, I still don't have the defeat a 10,000 dragons in battle skin. I don't know. I feel like I've defeated a million. So I have no idea. But I think maybe it doesn't count if it's bots or something. I don't know because I've played this game so much. And it still says I've only defeated 7,000. What does that say? Two, 7,235. I can almost not read it. I cannot scroll down more. And then you get this skin. I know that there are some people who have that. There are some people who play this game even more than me. Or maybe they just play different aspects. Some people just trade and don't do battle. Or some people just do battle and don't trade. I think that's why I see some people... Because it's hard to imagine... Okay, that's another quest item. And limited. It's both limited. No, wait. No, that's just limited, I think. I don't know. But that's not for sale. Anyway, this video... Why can I not stop recording? Because I think I feel if I stop this video, there's a chance I will never make a video about this game again. One of my favorite games and I'm so sad that it's not being updated. So, if the maker of this game is watching this at all, please come back. I pray I will spend my Robux on your game. I will do anything I can to help. 
I will make so many videos about this game if you would come back and I would try to help you think of a way to make for you to earn more Robux of this game because right now there's no real way to earn Robux of this game. Oh, double trades. <laughs> they go through each other. Okay, yeah. Uh, end of the video. Stop the video, Tommy. Stop the video now. Okay, that's it. Hope everyone is safe and not too bored inside avoiding the coronavirus. Watch my vlog from the other day if you want information. Look online for the World Health Organization if you need any information about the coronavirus. Let me know any of your thoughts about Dragon Riders, the coronavirus, anything else. Let me know. And do you think this game is coming back? I just... Oh my god. It's my biggest dream if this game comes back. Please come back. Bacon hair. Do you want this game to come back? I think he wants this game to come back as well. Oh my god. Please come back. Trade. Sorry, I'm recording. Okay. End the video, Tommy. Okay, I'm just going to click stop recording. Bye. Don't forget to stomp. I like, I clicked wave, but I'm being push, pushed by my dragon. Wave. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur or fly like a dragon, you guys. Hope you're having an awesome day. Bye. Super big thank you to everyone who supports me as a member on YouTube or a Patreon on Patreon. Their names are on the screen right now. Thank you friends so much. Without you it wouldn't be possible for me to make these videos. If you also want to support the channel the links are in the description. And if you don't have any money you can just share this video and like and subscribe and do all the nice things. Especially just be a nice person. Thank you so much. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.